Hey guys, Big Flip here. This is an auction preview for tonight. Um, there's a lot of new items here. There's only a couple items that are repeats, meaning something you've already seen before. Uh, I did show these off on my channel, so these have already been seen. But this is the two coin holder of the 2023 S Morgan and Peace Dollar. Both coins, one holder. That is one slab. And that's one price for both coins. These are 70s. These are 69s. I only have one set of 69s. And then I have multiple of the 70s. Those will be up for sale. That'll be a bend price. Then I have transit tokens that have a few tax tokens. I tried to make them as equal as possible. These will be bend 25. On my channel, it's not a race to get your bin in. If you get a bin in, we have multiple people that do that. We spin a wheel to see who wins the bin. So I try to make everything fair. I do have some mint sets going out tonight. These are 40 percenters. One silver in each set. But those are neat. We've seen those before. No need to talk any more about them. I do have some Geiger one grammers. If you win the Geiger one gram in the capsule, then I'm going to give you a one gram loose uh, to go along with it. I know the premium behind these are kind of crazy. So that will be up tonight. Also, I have some... Old antiqued, um, what I'm calling a chunky bar. These are five chunky bars of silver of three nines fine. But if you look close to them, there's a ship on there. Let me see. Do you see the ship on there? So each one, they're old antique um, cruise line ships, not warships, cruise line ships. But that's neat. I'll have five of those tonight. Um, I do have a lot of Mexican um, reals. I have a 1793 um, 8 real, a 91 8 real, a Mexican peso. I have a Japan 1000 year commemorative. It's super neat. It's got a volcano on it. Then I have a Bolivia 8 real, a Mexico 8 real. I have another Mexico 8 real, and a Cuba uh, peso from 1916. I also have a bunch of old ancients. Um, there's silver ancients here. There's bronze ancients. I have about 25 pieces right here. I don't know if I'll put them all up. They're everywhere from um, lower end all the way up. I mean, from like 30 to a hundred dollars. It's they're all. I tried to get a, a a mixture of all sorts of different ancients. So those will be there tonight. And then what were these here? Oh, these are some more ancients. Another ancient. This is another Mexican silver. Oh, these are neat. Check these out. So these are going to be Japan BU square coins. And these are dated 1837 to 54. And those will be a bin because I have three of those. Um, I do have some three cent dimes, which I call a trime. Some people don't. And I have some half dimes. I also have a couple bust dimes. I think it's three bust dimes there. I have some uh, thrickles, three cent nickels, about six of those. Uh, I have a bunch of seeded dimes, 1853. They're all fairly decent priced dimes. And then I have a bunch of foreigns. I don't know if we're going to get the foreigns to the foreigns tonight, but if we need to, we will. And then also, these are more foreigns. I don't think we'll get to them tonight, but we'll see. And then I have, oh, I don't know, it looks like about 10 Morgans that I'm going to go through. Some of these are 21 Morgans, so you might want to check your price book um, on, the Morgan, on the 21 Morgans. But these are an average of about $100 Morgan in their slab condition. And on my channel, if you go and you scan a Morgan or you scan a coin and it shows you a price... I usually start my price about 20% under what those numbers come up on the scan because those numbers are too high. I run a gray sheet price tag here, not um, not a red book, but it's gray sheet. So I'm very, very fair with my numbers. Then last but not least, I have some um, copper uh, with gold layered on top commemorative metals. Uh, they're easy, they're easily priced. I think they were running at $15 for the small ones and $30 for the big ones. 
and come with some of them come with a COA. So those will be up tonight. So I think I went through it all. I did it in about, let me see. Oh, I don't know yet. Um, but I hope to see you tonight, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. It is Saturday. The date today is 113 of 23. And uh, we will probably do a three-hour auction, maybe longer. But um, no box on tonight. Uh, no grab bags tonight. Just going to move auction items. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't. Um, I understand it's after Christmas, but, you know, it's it's nice to get some goodies after Christmas. So, until I see you all again, do something nice for somebody. Pay for it every chance you get. Let's be good people, and I'll see you on the next one. Please take care. Have a great day.